What's up everybody, GenX Dividend Investor here. In this video, I'm gonna show you my free Dividend Discord chat server, which comes up as the number one search result in Google if you type in Dividend Discord or Dividend Server or World's Largest Dividend Discord. I'll end this video with a suggestion I think is critical to follow. But first I wanna say thank you to everyone who's supporting me spread the positive message about dividend investing by clicking on my Amazon affiliate link in the description of this video and then shopping. As an Amazon associate, I earn from qualifying purchases. I don't see who purchases stuff, but I do get to see what my link was used for, and most recently someone ordered Lords of Waterdeep, a Dungeons & Dragons board game. Which is awesome because I've been a D&D fan since I was a kid, and even played in college because I'm such a nerd. I still have friends who play it in their 40s. Someone else also used my link and bought Rich Dad Poor Dad, which is an investing book I recommend you get. Okay, so why do you want to join my Discord? Well, you get a ton of valuable information for free, not to mention it's fun and you'll get to meet a bunch of like-minded investors, from newbies to multimillionaires, from teenagers to people in their 70s. I learn stuff from my Discord all the time. For example, I recently just discovered that Fidelity seems to pay out dividends at least a day faster, and in some days, multiple days before, any other broker does. The way I figured that out was based on listening to when people on my Discord said that they got a particular dividend, and I asked them what broker they used. So tons of useful information is to be had on my Discord, as well as hidden nuggets of value that you might not expect. Now while I call it a dividend discord, the cool news is that I also have channels on my server to cater to folks who love to invest in non-dividend growth stocks like Amazon or Google, and I have investment channels dedicated for real estate and crypto and a bunch of other asset classes. When the stock market is open, you'll find that people post real-time what stocks they are buying or selling, both dividend stocks and non-dividend stocks and ETFs. I've created automated channels which share breaking world news, and I've created a channel which automatically posts dividend hikes or cuts, and a channel for automated investing news. As of the time I'm creating this script, I have over 5,000 dividend investors on my Discord that come from over 50 countries and 6 of the 7 continents around the world. Where are all my Antarctica users at? Speaking of investors outside the USA, I've created private chat channels for any country that has 2 or more subscribers from there, and currently my largest country channels are Canada, England, and the Netherlands, but I also have channels like Belgium and Portugal that have over 10 members each, and I have a ton of smaller channels like Bulgaria, Croatia, etc. In fact, this morning I made a Slovakia channel because the second user from Slovakia just joined. I have no idea what they're saying, but here's a screenshot of them chatting today. If you live outside the USA, then make sure to tell me what country you want to be affiliated with. People have said that it's awesome to be able to chat in their native language with other investors in those private country channels. In fact, I've had multiple people tell me that my server is the best investing Discord out there, which I'm humbled to hear. For example, a patron of mine named Trader Joe commented that he's on a bunch of other investing discords, but that mine was the best by far, and then a bunch of other people agreed with him. He also said that he rated my discord as A++++. Thanks Trader Joe, I really appreciate the kind words. So why would Trader Joe and others say these nice things? Well, if you watch my YouTube channel, you know that I put a lot of effort to deliver quality, valuable content. I do the same thing for my discord server, where I spend a ton of time constantly improving it with new valuable functionality and information. I promote my Discord on my Twitter, my Instagram, my YouTube, etc., which is what has enabled me to keep getting more investors on it, which means you'll get more people and perspectives to interact with. I spend hours every day moderating it to keep topics aligned to their channel purpose, as well as to keep out toxic individuals or those who can't align to my stated rules. Multiple people have commented that I'm just doing the right amount of moderation. My primary goal is simply to create a fun, uplifting, and valuable place for people to come and relax and chat 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, whether it's Christmas Eve and you're drunk on eggnog or when the market is falling off a cliff and you need a support group to understand your pain. I want this to be a place where people are there to help one another succeed. Some people come for mentorship, others come to listen. Everyone who's a kind person is welcome to join. I have a bunch of finance YouTube channel creators on my server, like Matt Money who has around 7,500 investors on his channel and is growing all the time, as well as GWETF who has a YouTube investing channel that focuses on ETFs, and Ryan Giffen who has an investing channel and just posted a video about his year-to-date returns which was spectacular. Ryan's wife Jessica Giffen actually has a YouTube channel about decorating with over 60,000 subs. I actually have a YouTube channel creator on my Discord who has over a million subs but has asked me not to out them. So that random person you are chatting with on my server might just be someone you know. I also have members who own finance websites and blogs and members who are professional financial analysts and wealth managers. What this means is that there are a lot of very passionate and knowledgeable investors on there. I have my Discord configured to minimize the ability for hackers to spam you with advertisements. So I have things in place that limit your ability to talk for a few minutes after you first join up to stop bots which try to auto-join and spam people. I also have sentry bots which attempt to identify and delete fake users, and my server won't let you post images or links until you're experience level 10. The more you chat, the more you gain experience, and if you have enough experience, you go up a level, which is a fun way to tell which people have been contributing to the server for a long time. 
Different experience levels grant different perks, such as you get a special color name in the chat and you gain access to private channels and you can post pictures and links and stuff like that. I currently let anyone get to level 10, but only Patreons go above 10, and my champion Patreon tier is only $1.95 a month, which is super cheap relative to the amount of time people spend on my Discord and the value they say they're getting. I'm doing this video now because this is the one year anniversary from the time I started this Discord, which was December of 2019. So thank you to all the OG users of mine who have been here from the beginning. For those that are unfamiliar, Discord is just a free chat service over the internet that allows people to type and optionally talk to one another. Most people on my server just type, but every so often some of us jump into a voice channel to chat about things. You can join my Discord for free via clicking the link in the description of this video if you're on a computer, or you can download the Discord smartphone app and type in lowercase kk capital S lowercase r 5 capital F capital Y in the invite field to join up. Once you join up you only see a few channels since you aren't authorized yet. I ask you to click on the FAQ and rules channel and then read the FAQ document which contains my terms of service along with other useful information. It has things like a link to a document which has spreadsheet formulas that you can copy and paste to create your own Google spreadsheet if you're making a stock portfolio tracker like I showed you how in my video called How to Create a Simple Dividend Stock Portfolio Tracking Spreadsheet. After you read the FAQ you click on the Unauthorized Users channel and then you click on the heart emoji to get authorized. I've put that emoji click process in place to help minimize bots from joining my server and spamming. If the emoji heart self-authorization process isn't working for some reason then you can wait for me to manually authorize you which I'll usually do within an hour. You'll know that you're authorized when you see a ton of new channels show up. Now I've organized my investing discord into different thematic categories, each of which has its own channels which I've minimized here. The first section is called FAQ Rules and Polls, which has two channels in it beyond the FAQ one. Polls is where I run optional polls for people to participate in, some of which are suggested by users. You can scroll back through history in this channel to find a ton of interesting polls that you can still respond to, like what is your projected dividend income for 2021? In this poll we see that $0 to $200 a year was the most common response, though a few folks are over $50,000 a year in dividend income. Another poll I recently had was, do you think we'll have a 10% plus stock market correction happening within a month, a quarter, or a year? It looks like the majority felt we would have one within a year. Another poll asked how many stocks you have in your portfolio, and we can see that the majority own 11 to 20 stocks. Another random poll asked how many shares of J&J do you own, and we can see that most people don't own any, and then the next most popular answer was 1 to 5 shares, with a handful of votes from people who have over 100 shares of J&J. And then we have fun random polls like, do you like Chick-fil-A? And we see that 86% of people do, and 14% of people are wrong. Okay, moving beyond the polls channel is a welcome and ranking channel, where you can see when someone new joins the server, and you automatically see when someone levels up, and you can check your own experience level with the exclamation mark rank command. Speaking of rank, you can visually see what levels people are. I order the list by Patreons first, after the admins, which currently is just me, and the moderators, which currently is just Hidden Freedom, who has his own YouTube channel. Then we have the Patreon Kings, and we see Menate V is on, who helped create my best dividend stock spreadsheet portfolio tracker 2.0 that I just did a video on. Thanks again, Menate V. For reference, a few days ago I did my worldwide reveal of my personal dividend spreadsheet which goes far beyond a portfolio tracker, as it also has a bunch of powerful features including a stock comparison tool, an ETF comparison tool, a discounted cash flow tool, a portfolio growth simulator, and a bunch of others, which, if you invest in stocks, I'm confident you'll want. You gain access to the spreadsheet as a monthly service if you are a Patreon aristocrat or king. Below the kings on Discord we see the aristocrats, and on the day I captured this screenshot we see that 11 Patreon aristocrats are on. As an aristocrat they gain access to my new dividend spreadsheet product, and to multiple private channels on my Discord, including one where I let people watch my videos before I release them to the public, as well as vote on some thumbnails I use in my videos. Private channels have less moderation and often contain users who generally have been on the server longer, thus you tend to see more personal conversation that isn't shared in the open channels. I prioritize my higher tier Patreons when questions are asked, and of course I also call them out in video and add them to my scrolling ticker in my videos. I'll shout out some new Patreons later in this video. Then I list my Patreon champions from highest level to lowest level, so we see my level 50 plus folks and my level 40 plus folks and etc. No one has hit level 60 yet, so once someone does I'll work with that person to let them pick what color they want the new level range to be. Right now it looks like GWETF channel will be the person who will hit level 60 first. Then we see my level 0 to level 19 Patreons, and 11 are online at the time I'm filming this, and we see one server booster online. Boosters help give perks to the server like more emojis and storage and such. Then we see 47 level 10 engaged people, which is the highest level a free account gets to. Then we see some bots I have, and then we see there are 587 people online who are less than level 10 that are on free accounts. Now if you've never used Discord, don't worry. The majority of people who join have never used it, and they all say how easy and intuitive it is to use. 
It's nice because you can review all the history in the channels, as it's a persistent chat, which means you can scroll back in time to when I started the channel, back in December of 2019, and search for anything, like who has talked about a specific stock and what was said. It's really neat when world events are happening and you can chat real time with others about it, like if Elon or Buffett are live streaming, or if SpaceX has a milestone launch, or if the Super Bowl is being played, or whatever. Slowly my Discord community has become a bunch of friends that are always accepting new people with open arms. We've been talking that at some point it'd be fun to do a meetup. Maybe when I get to 100k subs on YouTube or something I'll organize it. Of course none of the information on my Discord or any of my social media sites should be taken as financial advice that you act on without doing your own research. The main rule I have for my server is to be nice and respectful in all interactions. Okay, back to the main channels. Here we see general, which is where most BSing happens, then we have 11 private channels I've blacked out, and then there's a retirement planning channel and two channels about taxes. Then we come to the big category which are investing related channels. The first one is a channel with a bot that automatically posts my YouTube videos in it. Then we have the dividend alerts channel which lights up in bright white when the bot has posted that a new dividend hike or cut has happened, so people love that. Then a well used channel is dividend stocks, where people obviously talk about dividend stocks. Then below that is a channel to talk about stocks that don't have a dividend, so people talk about Tesla or Neo or Amazon or whatever in there. Then we have a channel to talk about IPOs and SPACs. Then we have one where people post their stock transactions, like if they have a buy or sell or something. Then there's a channel dedicated to ETFs and mutual funds. Most recently we've been discussing QYLD and JEPI and some of the pros and cons of investing in those high yield income ETFs. Then there's a channel to talk about stock options, which lots of people are getting into. Then there's a channel dedicated to talking about brokerages, so people have found that very useful. It's highlighted in bright white for me, which means that there's a new message in there since the last time I checked in. Then I have a portfolios channel, which some people use to share their portfolio. Then there's a commodities channel to talk about investing in gold, silver, etc. Then there's a channel focused on fixed income investments. Then there's a real estate investing channel. Then there's a popular crypto channel for all you Bitcoin and Ethereum and altcoin lovers out there. Then we have a channel for general financial videos. Below that is a channel dedicated to entrepreneurs where it's interesting to hear what businesses people run or are thinking of starting up. Then we have a channel where people post when analysts upgrade or downgrade a stock. Then there's a channel with a bot that automatically announces earnings that are going to be released. Then we have a channel where you can use commands to see graphs on stocks, futures, etc. Then we have a channel where a bot posts investing related news. Then we have a news section to talk about current news, though I ask people not to talk about politics or anything too sensitive, in this channel or any channels. Then we have a channel with a bot that automatically posts breaking news events as they happen. Then we have a wellness section where everybody's mother, Allgood, talks about health and wellness and posts daily inspiring messages we all love to read. Thank you Allgood for being you. Then we have a food channel where it's fun to see pictures of food dishes people are eating or making. Then there's the entertainment section on my Discord, which has a channel for Patreons, which has a gambling robot that lets you earn a fake currency called credits each day, and you can play games like buying fake crypto, or play blackjack, or whatever. Then there's a music section where Patreons can stream songs. Then we have a place for folks to put in random videos they want to share. Then there's a section to talk about movies and TV and books, which heats up when things like Game of Thrones are on or whatever. And then we have a memes channel, and a sports channel, and a, another private channel. Then we have a bunch of voice channels, some public ones and some ones meant for people at high levels or for aristocrats or kings to talk about the dividend spreadsheet product. We also have a dividend disco which Patreons can use to listen to music that they queued up in the music channel. As I mentioned, I have a variety of bots that do cool things. For example, you can search YouTube using the exclamation mark YouTube function, though I ask you not to put any videos in my general channel. There's an exclamation mark anime command, so you could put in exclamation mark anime Akira, then you anime lovers can get treated to some info. If you type in exclamation mark manga in a word, like cows, well I'll let you play with that. You can do exclamation mark image gur and a word, like cats, and see what comes up. And you can also do exclamation mark pokemon, exclamation mark twitch, and exclamation mark urban, each of which does its own things. So hopefully all that gives you a solid overview of my dividend discord, and will compel you to click on the link in the description of this video if you're on a computer, or you can download the discord smartphone app and type in lowercase k k capital s lowercase r 5 capital f capital y in the invite field to join up. Okay, now I want to end this video with a suggestion, and that's that you should start your own online business. You'll learn a lot of new skills, and all you have to do is shift your gaming time or TV time into a productive new hobby. Do it. Do it. Speaking of starting a business up, I read some stats in Inc. Magazine that a survey of executives and entrepreneurs uncovered that the average business leader works 72 hours a week. They found that over half of small business owners work 6 days a week, and over 20% work 7 days a week. I personally put in over 100 hours a week into productive things like helping out startups or building my social media businesses. Why do I tell you this? Because I want to give you real data of people who are working their butts off to succeed. 
I found a stat that said in 2017, the average US consumer spent about four hours daily watching TV. Let that sink in. The average person is watching 28 hours of TV a week. I found another study that said the average US adult will spend about three hours a day on their smartphone. That's 21 hours a week. I found another stat that said the average video gamer spends six hours a week. So I think the point is, is that the average person wastes a ton of time on leisurely stuff. So I want to challenge you to stop wasting your time and instead work your butt off to build an online business. I'm one of those people who say work hard and smart. Work harder than the next guy. It all comes down to turning that drive inside of you to productivity towards your goals. I don't care if your goal is to gain 30 pounds of muscle or 30k of income a year. Each goal comes down to how bad you want it. How hard are you willing to work to get it? How much will you learn and act on? Because learning is just not enough. The reality is this, pretty much everyone has some free time. Even the people who say they have no free time actually do. In one breath they say they don't have time and the next they're talking about the football game they watched over the weekend. Look, everyone needs some downtime to unwind. I think unwinding is good. But are you playing video games multiple hours every day? Are you watching hours of non-educational videos on YouTube? Are you zoning out in front of the TV? This is what I recommend you do. I want you to think about what you love doing in life. Maybe it's gardening, maybe it's dancing, maybe it's investing. Whatever it is, I want you to commit to yourself that you're going to start an online business around your passion. Maybe that means making a blog out of it, or a YouTube channel. Maybe you love watches. Okay, start a blog about high-end watches. Do reviews of them. Become an Amazon affiliate. Maybe start a Shopify store. I want you to take all that time you spend playing video games and watching TV or whatever, and then channel all those hours into creating something digital that you own. Don't be stuck by analysis paralysis on what your business should be. Decide today that you're going to do it, and start researching, and then start doing it. Don't stay in the research mode more than a few days. Just start doing. Imagine where you can be in a year, or in five years. I'll use me as an example. I posted my first YouTube video in August of 2019. I heard that it was too late to start a channel because so many people had channels. I heard that dividend investing was too saturated. I heard all the naysayers, but it didn't matter to me because dividend investing is my passion, and I was motivated to help document my investing process for my family. If I can do it, you can do it. Starting a business is an opportunity to turn wasted time into productive time. You transition from being a consumer of what other people have created, and you start becoming a creator. You also become an owner of what you build. You'll also learn a ton, not just about your hobby, but you'll also learn about how the internet works, about how tools work, like if you start a YouTube channel, then you'll learn about editing and audio and social media, etc. And you'll be establishing your own virtual real estate on the internet, which has limitless potential. You'll learn about branding and marketing and networking skills and a whole bunch of other things. You'll be learning skill sets that probably will become more valuable in the future. So you are also creating a hedge against your job such that if it goes south, you have something you are building that you can fall back on. And of course, you're starting creating the potential for another source of income. So I can't recommend this strongly enough. Think about what you're most passionate about in life and start building an online business around it. Even if you don't know how you're going to make money out of it, just start. Your future self will thank you, just like your future self will thank you if you're investing. Okay, finally I'd like to thank a bunch of new Patreons who have signed up. First to the latest Patreon king, Smithy. That's my highest tier of Patreon, which includes monthly one-on-one -on -one voice discussions to talk about whatever they want. Thanks, Smithy. Next, I want to call out my latest Patreon aristocrats who have signed up, which is over 20 people. Awesome. So thank yous to Bailey K, Brandon, Building Legacy, Creed41, Ed B, Fat Cash, Gabriel Wall, Gordon, J12, James Long, Crush, Liverpool Richie, Mata, Mr. DJ Scary, Pescado Man, Retired 2020, Roger 1911, Rolytron, Scarity, Smack, Stella Queen, Sublime 24, Tostito Elmo, Talzander the Great, and Velo. Please reach out to me if you signed up as an aristocrat and I missed you. Thank you so much guys and gals, I really appreciate your support and I love getting the opportunity to help spread financial literacy and the impact it can have on your life and your kids' lives and your grandkids' lives and beyond. I also want to thank you, the viewer, for watching. Please consider hitting the thumbs up button and subscribing if you haven't yet, and click that bell notification. Also, please join my free Dividend Discord chat server, which has thousands of investors on it and is growing all the time. Join now and be one of the OG investors. Finally, I want to leave you with this quote from Benjamin Franklin who said, An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Thanks and I'll talk to you again real soon. I am not a financial advisor and these videos are for entertainment, inspiration, and educational purposes only. Investing of any kind involves risk. I am only sharing my opinion with no guarantee of gains or losses on investments.